So this lecture is about the mechanism of gram state. So in the previous lecture we talk about the how we do the gram state. So today we are going to talk about the mechanism of gram stain. Why some bacteria become gram positive? Why some bacteria become stain with gram negative? Right. So to understand why this, why the 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 for this difference, why some positive, why some bacteria gram negative? So we should have a clear idea about the structure of their cell wall. The structure, the the difference in their cell wall makes this difference. Because of the cell wall only some bacteria are gram positive, some bacteria are gram negative. So cell cell wall is the one that makes the difference. First talk about the gram positive back uh, the cell wall of the gram positive bacteria. Gram positive bacteria cell wall. Right? So in gram positive bacteria, peptide there is a peptidoglycan layer external to the external to the cytoplasmic membrane, which is very thick, about 10 layers thick. Right, and so the the peptidoglycan layer is very strong in gram-positive bacteria, and uh, so it has ten layers, and also these peptidoglycan chains are very highly cross-linked to each other, so that makes the strength more. There, so it makes more strength, right? So the more cross-linking and more number of layers, right? So, th so that means gram-positive bacteria have a very strong peptidoglycan layer outside the cytoplasmic membrane that is in the cell wall. Right. Then also gram positive bacteria also have some other features, but this is not relevant to the gram stain. But just for the sake of completeness, we'll talk about the other, other features of gram positive bacteria cell wall. They also contain large amount of tricoic acid, which is present only in gram positive bacteria. So it is interspersed around peptidoglycan layers and it is, it is attached to the N-acetyl muromic acid of peptidoglycan backbone. Right, so that is tricoic acid, which is a polymer of ribitol phosphate. Then also there is lipotricoic acid, which is a polymer of uh, glycerol phosphate that is attached to the cytoplasmic membrane. Actually, tricoic acid, lipotricoic acid also ma make the bacteria, the bacterial cell wall is strong and more, make it more rigid actually. So that is the gram-positive bacterial cell wall. So the bottom line is gram-positive bacteria have a very thick cell wall compared to gram-negative bacteria. So you can see in this picture uh, the cytoplasmic membrane outside the, outside the cytoplasmic membrane there are about 10 layers of peptidoglycan. Right, that's thick peptidoglycan. This is a caucus, but even in the gram-positive bacilli it will be the same thing but different shape. Then we'll talk about the gram-negative bacteria cell structure. So gram-negative bacteria also have the peptidoglycan layer outside the cell membrane, but this layer is just thin. It may be one or it may be two peptidoglycan layers. So it is one to two layers thickness. Right. So the in, in gram positive bacteria, if you remember, it has 10 layers. Actually, it comprises about 80% of the bacteria cell wall. But in gram negative bacteria, very small amount of uh, peptidoglycan is there. Small cell, uh, uh, two just one to two layers. Right. But the, in, uh, in gram negative bacteria, to compensate that they have outer membrane which is external external to the peptidoglycan layer outer membrane which is comp comprises of, which, which is made of lipoprotein and lipopolysaccharide right so lipoprotein is the inner membrane then the lipopolysaccharide is the outer layer of the outer membrane right so the that is the structure of the gram negative bacteria cell wall so the 80 percent of the gram negative bacteria cell wall is made up of outer membrane, right? The space between the outer membrane and the cytoplasmic membrane is the periplasmic space. So if you look at the periplasmic space, and if you go to this picture, so you will see the blue line in most interior is cytoplasmic membrane, right? This cytoplasmic membrane, then the, the, the outer layers are the outer membrane, outer membrane. In between the cytoplasmic membrane and outer membrane, in the periplasmic space, this is space, right? This is space in brackets periplasmic space. So you can see in the periplasmic space contains this thin peptidoglycan layers, periplasmic space. In addition, this space also contains a lot of uh, beta lactamase and bacterial enzymes, especially beta lactamase enzyme that inactivate the beta lactams antibiotics. Right? That is a gram-negative bacteria. So you see the gram-negative bacteria have a place to store their beta lactamase that break down beta lactam antibiotics. That is why the gram-negative bacteria are more resistant to antibiotics compared to 
gram positive bacteria gram negative bacteria more resistant right so that is uh, about the gram negative bacteria cell wall so this is uh, the cell structure of the cell wall right so when you talk about some we so we have a very good idea about the gram positive cell wall and gram negative cell wall so we'll talk about the gram staining procedure in short right so it uh, it is you know the, we apply four reagents in the proper order first is primary stain which is crystal violet methyl white or gentian violet applied uh, initially then iodine solution the mordant that is the mordant it intensifies the color of the primary stain then we add the acetone or alcohol which is the decolorizing agent right then at the last the last step is adding a counter stain which is neutral red basic fuchsin or safranin right remember that we we use the we apply these uh, stains for 45 seconds to 1 minute not less than that not more than that right so after each step we wash it with uh, tap water so we'll talk about mechanism so i'm going to com uh, combine these details we'll come next the next slide with the details in the next slide the pictures and the writings on this slide will be combined while i'm uh, while i'm explaining so we'll talk about what happened the first we had the primary stain right violet colored crystal violet methyl violet or gentian violet right so violet color primary stain enter the bacterial cells to color them first when we had the primary stain it enter the bacterial cells you can see the first picture after primary stain gram positive will be stain purple because it is purple color bacteria it will enter the bacteria right gram negative it will enter the bacteria so the both will be stain purple so both gram positive and gram negative will be purple colored after the primary stain right the next iodine we had the modern which is lugol's iodine iodine uh, aqueous iodine it enters the cell cell to form the diiodine complex the iodine enters and combine with the dye in the within the cell wall to form a diiodine complex which is dark purple colored which is dark purple colored right so you can see in this picture you can see iodine entered so dark purple color after the modern which is the id dark purple diiodine complex right so next we have the decolorization right so decolorization is acetone or alcohol right it easily enters the gram negative bacteria because it is a thin cell wall gram it can easily penetrate as acetone or alcohol they can easily penetrate the gram negative bacteria right and it will enter the gram negative bacteria it, it will break down the diiodine complex and the they will so dye is broken down and they will permeate out of the cell right so the, uh, the decolorization enters the bacterial cell of the gram negative bacteria and breaks down the diiodine complex and it will permeate outside right so there is no color in gram negative bacteria so the, after decolorization gram negative bacteria become colorless right what happened to gram positive bacteria gram positive bacteria within this allocated time of 45 minutes to one sorry 45 seconds to 1 minute 45 second to 1 minute is not enough to decolorize gram positive bacteria because it does it cannot enter that fast because gram positive bacteria have a thick cell wall the time of 45 seconds to 1 minute is not enough for it to enter the gram positive bacteria and decolorize right so the gram positive bacteria are not decolorized so they remain purple so that's it it is here you can see gram positive after decolorization the third step dark uh, gram positive bacteria dark purple gram negative bacteria colorless colorless right then then we enter uh, at the counter stain what is the counter the counter stain right uh, neutral red right safranin or basic fuchsin right so when we have the decal decal uh, the, the, the after decal rice you have the counter stain right it till stain only the decolorized bacteria that is gram negatives will be stain gram positives are already colored purple right so that's what happened here so the gram uh, after decolorization after counter stain you can see the gram negative bacteria will pink will be pink because they are stained by the uh, uh, counter stain gram positive bacteria remains dark purple they were already dark purple so after gram stain what you will see gram positive are dark purple gram negative are pink right then um, uh, it is very important to understand the the most important step in uh, uh, gram staining is decolorization if you over decolorize 
right that means if you leave the decolorizer more than 40 more than one minute if you leave the decolorizer for more than one minute remember the duration is 45 seconds to one minute if you leave it more than one minute it will be over decolorized so even that will result in gram positive organisms even become gram negative we'll discuss that part separately then under decolorization if you add the decolorizer and leave it less time instead of 45 minimum of 45 seconds if it if you leave, keep it less than that it will it is under decolorization it will look it will make gram negatives appear as gram positives right so that is why we call it decolorization is the most important step in gram staining so we'll talk about what happened during over decolorization what happened during under decolorization right here over decolorization right so over decolorization you keep the decolorization more than the required time of maximum time right more than the maximum one minute right so gram positive primary distinct gram positive they both are purple right gram positive gram negative purple after modern dark purple you can see the same the upper purple both gram positive gram negative over decolorization now what happened in over decolorization remember we saw our normal decolorization gram positive the time is not enough for the decolorization 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 to enter but in this case over decolorization right it is more than one minute so the decolorization will enter the gram positive bacteria and it will be gram positive bacteria also will be decolorized right it is colorless now and gram negative obviously they become decolorized because the, the decolorization will easily enter right so when you add the counter stain that is neutral red or uh, saffronine or basic fuchsin that is pink color will be gram positive bacteria will be stay pink too because they've already decolorized now they are pink and gram negative bacteria will be pink too so that is over decolorization now what happened during under decolorization under decolorization mean you leave the decolorizers less than 45 seconds minimum of 45 seconds less than minimum of 45 seconds so we'll, we'll see what happens so primary stain they both are purple gram positive gram negative that is uh, crystal violet and after modern that is iodine they are dark purple you can see both gram positive gram they are say both, are both are the same dark purple now under decolorization you, you leave the decolorizer acetone alcohol less than 45 seconds right so the uh, gram positive bacteria obviously will be remain uh, gram positive and gram negative bacteria also not 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 enough time because less than 45 seconds they will remain they will remain the same color right not enough time right so they will remain purple too so the both gram positive and gram negative will be dark uh, purple purple after uh, decolorization so when you have the county stain there is nothing to stain there is nothing decolorized so they will they both are colorized to dark purple so there is no bacteria that become stained uh, pink right they both are they all remain dark purple so gram positive will be gram positive gram negative will look like gram positive right that is under decolorization so remember decolorization is the most important step in uh, gram staining so this is gram negative bacilli gram negative bacilli this is also gram negative bacilli right and this gram positive cocaine chain that is a step uh, streptococci gram positive cocaine chain these are gram positive bacilli gram positive bacilli most likely bacillus species right not bacillus anthesis maybe bacillus serious right so that is bacillus. so that is about the mechanism of gram stain thank you for listening if you found this video helpful please like this video and subscribe to my channel you can get new video notifications by clicking the bell icon. My Patreon supporters can request lectures and get exclusive content. Please check the description for links and more details. Thank you.